What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Webcam covers generally suck. That's why I picked up these three to try. All right, so I get these webcam covers and they're all right. And the problem with this one in particular is that it's big plasticky and it's really thick. And what ends up happening is you can see how thick it is there. I mean, it's thicker than a credit card. And when I close the laptop completely, what it does is it doesn't really close the lid. And so what I've noticed is that the laptop never really goes into its hibernation state. Now, in some laptops, especially like MacBooks, they're so tight fitting that something like this might never let the the laptop sleep and even if it does there's so much pressure right here that it kind of wears down on the uh, other side of the laptop so one of the things that i wanted to do is get rid of this because i actually like the webcam cover especially sometimes when you log into a meeting and you don't realize that it automatically activated the webcam so you're sometimes you're a little surprised now i think this type of a uh, webcam cover is given away a lot because it's plastic and it seems pretty nice, but the problem is it's really thick. That's why I picked up these three super slim webcam covers and I wanna show them to you. So first of all, we have this one. This is a webcam privacy protection. You can see it here, it comes uh, actually with six. So they came with two of these packages. And what we have here is a little, adhesive look at that i like that the adhesive is all the way around as opposed to my other webcam which the adhesive was only on the side see it's going to be a nice tight fit but look how thin that is i would call this like uh less than a credit card thin not by much maybe like 80 percent of a thin credit card now i do like that silver color especially for macbooks that'll probably look uh very similar to the you know the macbook the brushed aluminum finish and if i pull this open here what you can see whoa look at that all right so one of the problems with it being so thin is there's only so many ways that you can attach it and you can see you've got this little um, piece of plastic on the inside and that the outside isn't glued and that creates a channel so that it fits inside of these little tracks here so you can press it back together here like I did, but it doesn't open up that far. And so one of the things that you're gonna keep in mind here is that especially if your camera has a microphone right next to it, you wanna make sure that it's big enough so that like on this one here, will it clear both the camera lens and the microphone? Um, or sometimes, well, here's my microphone hole, but this is a little light to show that the camera's on. And then I think this is also a microphone hole. So if I were to offset it just a little bit to, so I can see that light, that'll work. It's covering up this other microphone hole there. So you got to keep that in mind. All right, on to the next one. Now, here is one that comes with three, looks like a three pack. And I don't know why it comes in this big like battery case here. But, okay, we have these three here. And this looks quite similar, but it's actually smaller. So uh, it's very similar in thickness and you can see, but it's a much smaller like dot. So I think this would be great on cell phones if you wanted to add it. Like it just kind of slides back and forth again, just probably, that's how it is. I, you have uh, adhesive all the way around. But if I put this on this, basically I am only gonna be able to get the camera to peek through there, which could be great too. Like I said, for a smartphone or uh, an iPad or tablet or something like that, that could be great. Now this one is the, probably the most interesting because you only get one for whatever it is, the three or four bucks, you only get one of these. And and see here we have adhesive all the way around, clear adhesive, but it looks like it has the largest door and it even has a little privacy logo on there. So let's see if I figure out which way this is gonna slide. But again, thinner than a credit card. Not a lot thinner, but uh, thinner. And looks like it's gonna slide that away. So I'm gonna just put it on here. I'm gonna try to keep it nice and straight. Okay, and now I can pull it. Yep, it's pretty tight. Oh, and I put it a little low. You can see there that I can't quite um, uncover the camera. So uh, because of that, this is actually, and because I have a little rubber board around here, this is probably not the one I'm gonna use. So I'll probably use that very first one uh, in this case, but I will say the adhesive is pretty good. I can't get that off there uh, now, but 
So those are these three webcam covers. I will put links to these in the description in the order in which I showed them to you. So if you wanna pick them up for your own purposes, they're not a lot of money, but these really slim ones will allow you to close your laptop, uh, even put them on a tablet or another digital device. Check them out, Peter Von Panda, out.